guys uh, in the previous video we have uh, created some basic tables but i have mixed one table which is uh, add to cart so this table is for just uh, adding the user dishes user product something like which he wants to store in temporary something like that so we are using this table so this table has some uh, five fields so i've just created but while working if we need some columns we will add dynamically it won't be a problem so it has one id just like a temporary id it is like a sorry it's a pri primary key which, which is auto increment and it will have a product ID which is relationship of this product uh, table and then it has quantity what uh, uh, what amount of the data that means the quantity what user needs and then price uh, the price of the item so it has to be double actually yep okay and then <clears throat> and then it has oh my god okay let me change it after some time so it will have an uh, another one column which is have another one column which is called add a date so in which date he is using that means in which date uh, the user is adding this uh, product to his cart so this is the basic tables i have created so the basic table structure has been completed <coughs> and then we will create a uh, spring boot application which will uh, utilize this utilize this um, uh, which will connect with the mysql table so for uh, Spring Boot application. I'm using this Eclipse only. So in the Eclipse, we'll have a uh, file new option, and it will have a uh, Spring Starter project. So this is like a, a Spring Boot plugin using which, uh, with which we can able to create our Spring Boot application. If we have a uh, uh, Spring uh, Spring, they their own have a Eclipse version also. You can able to create. Otherwise, you can able to create their uh, in their website. So uh, that means using. Uh, boot application so getting started so here also you can able to create your own application but I am using my my Eclipse only using a file a new uh, spring starter project so you need a, you need internet connection to start this Eclipse project so I am creating the project name will be YouTube I COEM e-commerce application so so the package will be something like uh, com dot youtube dot e -C -O -M -M. so it should be so implementing Package will be same as something like that. Okay. So the dependencies, what are the dependencies I need? So definitely I need some uh, Spring Web applications. So mm -hmm. Spring Web dependency. Apart from this, I don't need anything. I hope um, any MySQL dependencies. Yes, it needs MySQL dependency. So any developers tools. I think this is enough. So, if we need, we will integrate. Uh, no problem. So, I'm using 2.1.8. I think 2.1.5. How to use? Okay, let me next. Okay, so finish. So, based on your internet connection, the project will be loaded in your uh, this thing. So, here, uh, here the project is loading. So, it has to be all the Maven dependencies has been created. So here I am having uh, this is the default structure for Spring Boot application. So it will have a uh, Java source application. All the Java files will be here, and then it resources the application properties are something like that. And this is for uh, JNU testing. So if you are doing any JNU testing, you have to write the files here. And this is Maven dependency jar files will be loaded here. This is supporting JRE system files, and it will have a uh, source folder where this is like a same only. So this is a POM file where all the dependencies will be loaded here. So this is unknown area, it, it won't be a problem I think. So it will have uh, some basic dependencies, basic dependencies which we added uh, before while creating the project. So this is a starter web, this is the MySQL dependency and the starter test. This is the basic dependency for uh, Spring unit testing and then a lot of this thing. <coughs> so I will create a basic controller. So this is my application where our application will bootstrap from here. Okay so i will create an uh, basic structure here so i will create a package called controller and then i will create a package called um, 
model so which means it will have an all the entity class that means ORM so we are using ORM so it has to be and then it will have an service class service package so all the services package will be here <coughs> so first initially I just want to create a uh, simple uh, testing file so testing class so I will create an uh, something like login controller so this annotation has to be so all the all the classes controller will be like uh, rest only so we are going to integrate with the angular application so it has to be rest sorry rest so rest controller so with the request the request mapping of uh, login so it will have a public why check like this is just a sample like this thing just I want to check whether the application is working or not so here I'm having user so I'm just printing in this file say user okay okay so here we are giving request mapping so which will accept which will accept both both uh, post and get so so we are using request mapping so if we, if if i want to add this check login check login only for post then we have to give here we have to give post mapping and we have we can give uh, get mapping also so we are i am creating this method for both request mapping so that means both post and get will be <coughs> received here <coughs> So here I am just uh, printing this in my console for a check. So I am just running my application. So it will be commerce application in the console. Spring Boot application has been started. Yes, my application has been started. So guys, uh, it's working actually. So I'm just um, restarting this application. So I hope the console will load at everything. Yes. So here we have created a one uh, simple controller. <coughs> so this login and then uh, it's a login uh, controller with a user for user login. So I'm just creating the it's running on the default port of 8080 I think so correct. So yeah 8080 moreover you can able to see here also. So 8080 it's running. So 8080 slash login stands for here and then user stands for here. So if I so I am just uh, returning the value as a response entity which is the default class for uh, default class available in the spring uh, high, uh, spring framework itself. So I am just creating uh, sending one value like test method test uh, string. So moreover I am sending I am just printing this line in my console itself. So I am just clearing my console. Okay, sorry. So, so here I am just running this I am getting this test run from here and then moreover I am getting the message in console also so our basic uh, uh, application uh, has been created for our uh, uh, e-commerce application so in the next video tutorial we will create some basic methods for something like uh, user login and then user sign up um, with the database connection and moreover we will create an, uh, some basic methods with the add to cart something like that so thanks for watching so if you have any doubts please comment it below please thumbs up Please share this video for your friends and if you have any doubts please comment it. Thank you.